here's what it actually feels like to die. I feel like most of the TikTok user base are young, impressionable teens, so maybe this sort of stuff rubs off on them and they believe it a little bit. But I feel like if anybody actually knows what it feels like to die, it's probably not this kid on TikTok. He gives me total chills, top 15 vibes. Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. This is either going to be the moment where people tell me that this guy's actually chills, or the moment they tell me to stop disrespecting chills like that. But anyway, hi everybody, my name's Brody, otherwise known as Knockout Wolf, and the other day, somebody called JR Hennessy on Twitter shared a TikTok from an account called The Blondie Boys. It's called What It Feels Like To Die. I can't blame gullible people on TikTok for believing shit like this because the first time I watched it, it made me feel a bit weird. You know, kind of like when you see something gory in a TV show or a film and you can imagine it happening to you, um, except in this, you just fucking die. Here's what it actually feels like to die. First, you'll lose all thoughts and desires. Then your senses will start to go. Starting off with thirst and hunger, then your sight will go, and the last to go is your hearing and touch. As you become too weak to breathe, you'll start hearing a strange noise in the back of your throat. This is known as the death rattle, and when that happens, buckle up. Because you're about to leave your body for the- What if I don't want to buckle up when I hit a death rattle? Buckle up. Your life will flash before your eyes as your body exits the physical world. Then you'll follow the light through the tunnel and die. <laughs> he says it's so informed as if it's happened to him. I can almost imagine it like a vlog. Hey, what's up, guys? Here's another vlog for you. Basically, the other day, I almost died, and luckily somebody revived me, but basically when I almost died, I heard a death rattle at the back of my throat after I lost all senses. I buckled up, and then I saw my life flash before my eyes. It was pretty crazy, guys, so... Smash the like button, it's one prayer that I don't die again. I think this is my favorite bit. Then you'll follow the light through the tunnel and die. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll follow the light through the tunnel and die. And then above it just says follow for more. <laughs> <laughs> Follow for more. Oh my god, you can't write this shit. This is real. Somebody replied with, my mom sent this to our family group chat in October. It's called, never sleep next to your phone with the puppy eyes emoji for some reason. You should never sleep next to your phone and this is why. In 2019, a 14-year-old girl fell asleep while listening to music in her bed. When she fell asleep, her phone was plugged into a power outlet right next to her bed. When her parents found her the next morning, they discovered her phone battery exploded right in her face. They called the paramedics and she was immediately rushed to the hospital, but sadly the explosion killed her. Oh my god, you can't know, you can't do that! You cannot say, sadly the explosion killed her, and then put, follow for more, above your head. No! <laughs> Why? Okay, with this one, this could have actually happened, you know? There's horror stories of people leaving their phones under their pillows and they set fire. Things like this have actually happened. I don't know if it's to this degree, and I don't know if this guy actually found a specific story or if he was like, oh, people will believe that. Sorry. People will believe this. Went to the TikTok page and I found this, currently losing it over the ad in the middle of the video. This one's called You Should Never Dye Your Hair, with dye spelt like, <sighs> rather than actually dye. I don't know if that was a clever play on words or a spelling mistake. I'm guessing the latter. You should never dye your hair and this is <laughs> why. Is that? That's from, I don't know what this is from. That's from some movie. This guy's just using clips from horror movies to make these apparently real stories even more dramatic, which is incredibly disrespectful if they're real stories. Hair and th Which they're not, by the way. I should add, they're not real. Tabitha was a 17-year-old girl who would continuously dye her hair all the time. One night, she was hanging out with her best friend and they decided to dye their hair together. After she put the dye in her hair, she got up and went to the bathroom. Moments later, she ran out of the There's bathroom, one. pulling There's out her hair one. and screaming before collapsing to the floor. But before I continue, I found an app that helps you edit your videos Fuck so off. you can get TikTok famous. Links no! To bio if you want to get famous too. <laughs> her friend no, he did not. It just pops up hashtag ad. I found an app that no. helps you your videos so you can get TikTok famous. I think what he means is, I found this app. It's really cool. It does this one swiping effect that I use on all my TikToks. But when she got to the hospital, it was already too late. The doctor said she died from an allergic reaction to the hair dye. No, you can't do You, you got to stop doing this. You can't say the doctor says she died to an allergic reaction and then put follow for more with the little puppy eyes emoji. You can't do that. Hi, I was just editing the video and um, I talked about how weird it was that this girl dyed her hair all the time and then just somehow 
had an allergic reaction to it one day and died. So I decided to Google it, and it turns out this story is actually real. It's a very, very rare case of this happening, but it's real, unfortunately. So at first I was like, wow, I'm such an asshole for joking about this. And then I thought, hang on a minute. This guy's using this girl's death to be like, mm, follow for more content, please. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty fucked up. Enjoy the rest of the video. Did I see this right? Did I see this right? He has 4.4 million followers, 140 million likes. <laughs> Bro said. <laughs> More like hair dye. Too late on that one. Too late on that one, Sunshine. Are these supposed to be satire? I fucking hope so. So that's my first thought I saw when I saw the first one is surely this has got to be satire. Like it feels too forced and fake to be genuine. I need, I need to look on his actual TikTok account. Like, well, maybe it started as satire. And then they actually did well, so he just carried on, and he's just going along with the act that it's genuine, and he's actually getting sponsorships from it. He has so many TikToks. What the? They all have millions. They all have millions of views. This is insane. I want to go down to his first one because if his first one's kind of taking the piss, then that makes me think that it's satirical. This guy, which I want to. Can, can we find out how many TikToks he's done? But before I continue, I found a plugin I use called Go Full Page, which basically just takes a screenshot of the entire web page. This is insane. I, it stops the load and I think that's the end, but it just keeps going. No, this page is too large for the Chrome browser to capture as one image. It will be split into two images. I'm not surprised. It looks like he does some like movie and TV trivia and Easter egg things as well. And like, I'm gonna ruin your childhood. I don't think this is satire. I just think this guy's found a great formula for TikTok. It taps into people being gullible. It taps into nostalgia and people's interest for like drama and... Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. What the fuck? I can't express how many TikToks that is. What the fuck? There are so many fucking TikToks. I'm gonna download these just to scroll them on screen so you can see the sheer amount of fucking TikToks this guy has made. This can't be a joke. He's way too dedicated for it to be a joke. Is this like when I covered Alpha Familia or Alpha Familia as I realized after I <laughs> recorded it and edited it and released it, I'm a dumbass. With them I was thinking, hey, maybe they're just pretending to be step siblings in love because it gets some views. But they're making so many TikToks, I just felt like they were too invested for it to be fake. Yeah! <laughs> but I stand corrected this is being too invested for it to be a joke. What the fuck? Okay, this is the first one. It's got half a million views. Help my brother. My little brother's been sneaking out lately. So one day I decided to follow him. I saw him enter an abandoned house. Oh my gosh, this is creepy. What the hell? Follow for part two. That's how they get you. Things we did. Hang on, hey, no, this isn't a part two. Drawing on the car window. Drawing the sun in the corner. Okay, I did actually talk about that with my mum the other day. It's, it's the staple of being a kid. It's got a million views because it's just relatable stuff and people on TikTok love that shit. I can make a really similar one right now. Mum, I done a poo on my pants. Of course there's a part two. So there's a part two, the things we did as kids, but there's not a part two of what his brother was doing in the creepy abandoned house. Their fourth TikTok looks like the first one in that style. TikTokers before and after puberty, part one. First off, we have Dixie D'Amelio. She went from looking like this to this. How is that even possible? Did she look really similar? Really similar. I went from looking like this to looking like this. Dude, how is that even possible? He, he sounds different in this. Do you not think? He was hanging out with her best friend and they decided to dye their hair together. So now he's sounding like chills. But in this, he's sounding like a friggin' Paul brother. Is he? Is this the same guy? Is this the same dude? They're, 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 these, these are different people, right? Oh, okay, so they're called the Blondie Boys because there's the two of them, but it looks like after a while, it pretty much just became the guy who sounds like chills. So this is the other guy's first one. What do newborn animals look like? Have you ever wondered what newborn animals look like? Well, this is a baby hippo. It is about <laughs> as big as a chihuahua and it loves to eat carrots. The, str <laughs> the stranger thing sounded was like, well, like, this baby hippo likes to eat carrots. This seems so legit. This seems really genuine. These two guys knew what got views from the get go. You got to commend them for that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to a round of applause for the Bondi boys. Well done. You now own TikTok. Be sure to follow for more. The other guy's doing some too. 
You should never use Zoom, and this is why. On the first day of online classes back in September, Vanessa was hosting a Zoom class. Oh, okay, for so this English students. This guy but does them too. In, Both of them do them. Things. Vanessa immediately She's called me me black. I tell you what happened. I've been pranking all my friends by using this app that allows you to change. Oh my text god! The, <laughs> oh my god! The ads! The ads in the middle of the TikTok. No, I don't care. I'm done. I'm done. I don't care. You can go watch it yourself. You think I give a shit about this? You can go watch it yourself. They're so good at tapping into things that they know people will click on. Like, never use Zoom, the app that literally everybody's using right now because it's the end of the world. Things like, mom's baby bump won't stop growing until doctors look inside, and girl gives dad DNA test for Christmas until results reveal who he is. They feel like those clickbait articles on those spammy news sites where you have to click through like 15 pages just to read the entire story and on each page there's like a thousand adverts. Wait. That's how those websites make a buttload of money because you're seeing fresh ads every time you click onto the next part of the story and usually there's like 15 of them. And these guys make a buttload of money because they just slap an ad right in the middle of it. Links to my bio if you want to get famous too. It's incredible. I, I just wanted to share this with everybody. Anyway, that's been it. My name's been Brody, otherwise known as Knockout Wolf. I'd appreciate it if you liked this video. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. I stream on Twitch. Here's the link. Follow me? And remember, here's what it actually feels like to die.